Hey guys, today I am showing you how to make mostly raw vegan Samoas. Now, the only part that makes them not raw is the chocolate, and I will explain to you how to make raw vegan chocolate later. I'm starting off by putting about 8 to 10 dates inside of a food processor with 2 thirds cup of walnuts. Now, ratio may differ person to person depending on how juicy the dates are. Mine were very dry. In fact, I had to add a little bit of maple syrup afterwards to help bind the mixture together. Then I'm just pulsing this all together in the food processor until it becomes one big clump. Then I'm taking the tablespoon, scooping out a bit of the mixture, rolling it up in my hands and pressing it flat and putting it on a non-stick sheet. I did that and it made pretty perfectly 12 cookies. And then I'm taking a reusable straw and I'm poking a hole out of the center of them all. Now this is optional, it still tastes the same. Then I'm pressing coconut flakes into the top of all of the cookies while they are still wet for lack of a better term. Then I'm putting that in the freezer while I prepare the chocolate. I found that the easiest way to do this is just to scoop a little bit on the back of a cookie um, and then press it into the sheet so it covers the whole bottom of the cookie. And I'm doing that for all of them. And then for the top, I'm just taking my fork, drizzling the chocolate on the top of each cookie. For this today, I'm using Enjoy Life morsels. And these are awesome and great and easy. But if you want it to be completely raw, you can use cacao or carob powder mixed with cacao butter or coconut butter. And when I'm done with that, they just go back into the freezer for 10, 15 more minutes, and then they're all done. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you try this out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!